Klee LM is a two rod per angler lake. So we're gonna run two laker rods deep with the downriggers. Then we're gonna run two kokanee rods with some sliders down the uh, mid depth on the downriggers. And then finally, we're gonna run two planer boards, one on either side, again, targeting kokanee. So we're gonna run six rods, two targeting lakers, four targeting the kokanee. Um, we're going to try a new product from Max today. This is a scent flash. The unique thing about this product is it opens up and it's got a foam insert there. You can impregnate it with scent and then I'm going to run it right off of one of the downriggers to make a scent trail behind my uh, or in front of my Laker lure. Our two downrigger rods for Lakers. We're going to start off today on one rod. We're going to have a big old quick fish and I like to wrap the quick fish with a chunk of, of bait. In this case I've got scented um, cured shad. So we're going to wrap that on the back end of this. And then on the other rig we're going to start off with a Dutch fork custom lure uh, setup that I created. They've got some beautiful large uh, blades. So we're going to run this. And on this one, we're going to take a chunk of fresh prawn that I, again, that I cured. And we're going to just hook that into the inside hook. And that'll go like so. These fish are going to be targeting uh, vibration and from the quick fish. So what I've done with the two setups, on one, the quick fish, it's gonna put out a nice vibration that hopefully will attract some big Lakers. And on this one, we've got scent going and we've got flash from the blades. Fish, fish, fish! <laughs> <laughs> nice take now. Fix his hat. Yeah, fix my hat so I, look, so I look pretty, okay? Yeah. Well, I hope it's a fish. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a is nice it, one. It could be a... Wait, wait, wait. Did you get the it's a nice one. Take and drag. That's a good fish. Whoa, look at that guy go. I'm gonna bring him on over to the side, Mike, or out back? I think we're gonna have to go out back on this guy. He's, he's not uh, given much options. Wow, that came out of the blue. So this one is suspended. I'm using five ounce weight, and that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna see is the, the five ounce weight clip. So Randy, you're gonna to need to unclip that five ounce weight. Oh man, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. That is a nice fish. I'm gonna slow this down. There's the clip. So as that clip comes up, we're gonna take that, unhook the clip, and then we're gonna be dealing with the fish. Whoa! Hi, Bob. All right, now it's just uh, now it's just, just you the and the fish. fish, Mike. Last 15 feet to go. So that clip was 15 feet. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, oh yeah, great. Oh, Mike, that's a big one. Got him. Wow! All right, people, there you go! And that is why you come out here to Cleallum. You got it, Mike? Yep, yep. Oh. Holy Moses! That's a big one. Wow. 
Wow, it's right. Look at that, people. So that's probably in the 10 pound range. We're gonna get some pictures. We're gonna put them back, unless uh, we wanna eat them. <laughs> no, we're gonna let this guy go back. That's a trophy class fish. We got that on a spoon, fishing off a planer board. Five ounce weight, 15 feet behind the spoon, and then another 120 feet of line out, and then uh, let it run. Beautiful.